In tonight's top story, residents in a Waco area RV park have been stuck without internet for almost a month, and then one resident called Six News. That's right, we got to work. Reporter Andrew Moore looked into the situation last week. Now service is returning. He's here to break it all down for us with this six fix. Hey, Andrew. Guys, back in October, people living in Quail Crossing got a letter from Spectrum saying their management directed Spectrum not to provide service. Management said the issue is on Spectrum's end and no one knew what the solution was going to be. But after we ran a story last week, it looks like service is getting restored. We wanted our customers to be able to go to Spectrum and get whatever services they personally wanted. When Quill Crossing RV Park found out they could get a more flexible agreement with Spectrum for their customers, manager Beth Hutchings thought it was a good deal, and they thought switching would be no trouble. Tell me about the on March the 22nd that we could cancel the bulk account. There is a procedure. But there was trouble. After signing the paperwork, Spectrum later told them in October they weren't eligible for the new contract. So the old service got canceled. Got a letter from Spectrum saying they were shutting us off. Residents got a confusing letter and the park says a new contract was mentioned by Spectrum, but nowhere to be found. And that's when Six News got to work. After speaking with park management, we sent a detailed letter to communications director Brian Anderson explaining the issue. And he said they would look into it. Just three days later, our account rep called on Friday, she she asked if we'd seen the news. She thought it helped expedite getting the paperwork done on the new contract. A new deal was ready to go. The park signed a new agreement Monday and now will be able to provide TV and Internet through Spectrum for everyone in the park. Hutching says that story definitely sped things up. Oh, Channel 6 has been very helpful. So we are calling this one six fixed. Management told me today Spectrum now just needs to finish processing the contract on their end, but they are encouraging residents to go get your modem, go go ahead and get your cable box, set that stuff up, and get ready for service to be restored. Guys? Way to go, Andrew. Thank you.